It's impossible for me to talk about the aspects of the whaling that I intend to talk about without spoiling major plot points in the movie. So if you've never watched or even heard of the whaling, please check it out and click back in later when you have. Also, here's a spoiler warning. So The Whaling is a 2016 Korean horror movie set in a sleepy village with picturesque natural wonders and nice people who suddenly get all stabby stabby with one another. The possible culprits for this abrupt change are linked first to mushrooms, because what isn't, and then the not so nice, near silent Japanese stranger living by himself out in the middle of the woods in a dilapidated shack with an homicidal pit bull. I just want to pause here and say that, with that setup, in hindsight, of course this guy was a serial killer. I also want to say, if it becomes murky as I get into the meat of this video, that I actually enjoyed this movie. The final twist and visuals gave me chills and interested me enough to inspire this video. But this is one of the things we do here, disassemble and critique things that we like and enjoy. I mean, you only hurt the ones you love, right? Anyway, I honestly can't decide whether this movie was racist or not, or xenophobic or not, or just plain prejudiced or not, and that's genuinely titillating to me. One unfortunate reading of the movie's culmination is that Japanese people, particularly old Japanese men, are actually demons who only venture into the Korean countryside to assault good Korean folk and trick them into murdering all their loved ones and themselves, and also recruiting fellow Koreans to do so. When your country and your culture is hundreds, maybe thousands of years old, you kinda don't forget the axes you have to grind because they happened, oh, I don't know, 80 or so years ago. Now the reason I can't say definitively that this is the intended reading of the movie is because the writers do a good job, from my point of view, of being ambiguous. Is the old man a demon because he's Japanese? Or is he a demon who just happens to be Japanese? Is he even Japanese? Maybe that was all part of the game for him, or her, or it. Now other points that contribute to the glorious ambiguity of whether this movie is prejudiced or not are the way in which at various times people are chastised for suggesting the old man is guilty just because he is Japanese. There is also the fact that their reaction and attitude is to be expected and it wouldn't have been much different had he been a born and bred Korean. In this sense, all that would matter is that he is an outsider to the village regardless of his nationality or ethnicity. The points that support and oppose this idea are actually the same. Now the problem with the chastisement. The person who does it most often in the movie is Jung Gu, our hero. The problem is that at the start of the movie, which is when he does the chastisement, Jung Gu is an unreliable, non-assertive wuss. In the real world, he would be the kind of guy whose words, thoughts and opinions would be ignored, if not derided. Of course you wouldn't think it's the old Jap, Jung Gu, because you're nice aka a doormat. The fact that Jung Gu thinks like this, at least on the surface because we can't actually read his mind and nice people aren't actually good people and he really turns against the Japanese guy really quickly, is one way in which we, the audience, are practically told to disregard the notion that the old man isn't guilty and is in fact evil because he's Japanese. Now, the problem with the idea that the old man would be shown prejudiced even if he were Korean because he's not originally from the village. You see, the emphasis is not on nationality or ethnicity, but on outsider. With this in mind, this is where the possible xenophobia comes in. Anybody that doesn't belong to your society is to be feared, because they will hurt you and your people, and then just leave once they've done so, because they had nothing to lose since they don't belong. The definition of society here is as loose as possible. Hence, it didn't matter that the old man was Japanese and the shaman was Korean, Neither belong to the village, and that made them evil. Now, prejudice is prejudice no matter what form it takes. So again, this is a possible reading of the movie, and one more point that supports the idea that it is in fact xenophobic, racist, or prejudiced, or all three.